We are located down here in a crawl space. We've got steel iron bars that enter into our crawl space. This is one of our rental properties. We're installing this black vapor barrier as you can see. We've got uh, Bill Glade here with us helping. Say hi. How you doing there? And I got Dusty over here in the corner and he's working to pin this down. Uh, the black paper we're putting in these three inch pens all the way around the perimeter. This helps keep moisture out of the crawl space. As you can see over there, it doesn't have anything there. So, so Dusty will demonstrate. Yeah, take exactly. It. While I was working in this corner, I'm just pinning it in the ground, but I keep hitting something hard. Well, I'm hitting the foundation. So I keep moving over and it's hard. So I'm wondering, what in the world is under here? Concrete. So this, that, it's all concrete here. There ain't Solid. Pen, like three but, foot by three foot, huh? Yeah, so I started pulling stuff back and I'm wondering what in the world is this? A dirty rag? Looks like Let's get a kind of a close up on that pen or something. Huh. So I started trying to spin it and it, it spun a little bit, but it just didn't have a turn until I popped it off like that. Holy cow. Jackpot. We have a buried major vault safe that's a ground mount surrounded by concrete and we have no idea what the combination is and we have no idea how to get into this. Who would live in this property? And just three feet over from there, if you see this sunken hole here where my knee is, yesterday we just uncovered a buried treasure chest that was about two and a half foot deep in the ground and it was completely rotted, filled with water. And then now we are venturing to figure out what to do with this hidden treasure over here and this major safe made by Major Safe Company. And uh, we have no combination. So. so, for all of our clients that need work done, we are busy at this moment. To be continued. This Absolutely. could be life changing. This could be, you know, a lot of work to get out an empty safe. But, uh,. We're going to press through the night hours here until we get this figured out. The tenants, I repeat, are not home right now, so they can't hear us talking down here. So, anyways, we want to keep this on the DL. We'll, we'll get back to you soon. Bye-bye. We're down here in our crawl space. This is a Fort Knox safe they put in in the corner over here. We're working to get it out of there. Got We're the uh, eight pound sledgehammer. Got the 20 pound jackhammer with us over here. What we're doing here, this is a major project. We've got a rebar with a chicken wire all spread out in here. And as you can see, this is one of the anchor points right here. This is a, to get the hoist and chain to lift this son of a bitch up. So this isn't your normal renovation. Not normally. Normally we're doing construction or real estate deals. And today we are fiddling with a uh, safe that was uh, discovered here on uh, September 17th. It's round. You can see how this steel housing goes all the way around, but this is not your normal. It's a major safe. It's a major, major job. Probably the hardest concrete we've drilled through. He it's must have used some kind of granite mixture or one of those Fort Knox concrete, probably 8,000 PSI like they put in those banks. When we researched so. When we research this kind of safe top, they come in a cylinder only about this big around. Yeah. This guy custom built a cylinder that's probably over three foot in diameter around and who knows how deep. We haven't got down to know how deep it is. But you don't just store rings and, you know, some dollar dollar bills and stuff like that in a little, little safe like what we're dealing with here. All right, we're going to um, get back to slaving away here. We're back Watch at it. Ticket, so. Carry on. All right. Well, look. Hi, everyone. Today's Friday, the 18th. We're down here in the crawl space. I'm with this guy right here, Mr. Dr. Bill Glade. 
What do you think of this, Bill? I just think uh, it's just interesting what uh, we've come across here, and uh, not sure um, about exactly what the is in here or what it holds or if it's you know if we're pressing our luck, but um, nonetheless we're just going to see uh, what this is like and. Uh, See what the opportunities are here and once this uh, ordeal was accomplished and uh, we take it from there so, um, so you know lucky uh, uh, the boys Joe and Dusty invited me along here and uh, we've been working on this uh, they've been doing all the work I've just been kind of supervising and uh, just watching what they've been doing here but um, we're just gonna take this as it goes one step at a time and see what happens Bill does this look like something was professionally installed you yes did, you absolutely did. from what I'm seeing here more you know basically a very well professionally done job here reinforced steel that I haven't seen in a long long time but going back to the old days here of uh, I would say um, back into the uh, 20s you know or into the 30s or in the, or, or the uh, 60s Well, we're going to keep going at it. I've got Bill till noon today on Friday the 18th. So stay tuned for the unknown. Yeah. All right. Still Friday, the 18th of September. And Bill Glade, Dr. Nobel Prize Bill Glade is with us here. Um, Joe's on his way. We got a different jackhammer, bigger. And it's this far down now but we still have found no bottom bill do you have anything to say about the reinforcement of this it is quite a reinforcement and all i can say it was very well custom made it's uh nothing i've ever seen in my life so all i can say is it's just been an interesting adventure here and uh we're just waiting to see what uh the future holds and that's about all i can tell you all right well to be continued we're yeah. still chiseling away yep. cement jackhammered out around here of this unknown looks like it's about almost three foot long container we've, we've reached the bottom of it over here uh, just a lot of this rebar in the way and it just really isn't breaking up too well we increased our size of jackhammer to the biggest one possible we could get down in here but uh it still seems to be kicking our butt we're not making any headway you take it there's rebar about every four inches each way. Every four inches with wire mesh. It's ridiculously hard to even jar up the concrete to get it out when you're dealing with all this rebar wrapped around. Not to mention, you can't see it right now, but there's a big welded flat plate on the bottom. So in order for this thing to even move, we've got to get the concrete all the way out and around. So for now, stay tuned. We will let you know what our next plan of attack is. Friday the 18th. Carry on. We drilled four holes, half inch bit, and now Joe's saws all in between the holes. Stay tuned. 
Stay tuned. Action. Well, we're down here at the safe. We uh, determined it's a little too hard to chisel this all the way around. So we, uh, we decided to go ahead and cut into this and we found a second compartment down in this safe. It drops off yonder here, this way. And uh, I think there's gonna be some hidden treasure down there, so. Stay tuned. Looks like kind of yellow down there, like gold bricks or something. So we'll see once we get this out of here. Over and out.